Well, hello. Back out here at the plane, and I got the top cowl off because we are getting ready to go on another big cross country. Um, deciding we're going to take the plane out to Arizona uh, for a visit instead of driving like we normally do, and certainly hate taking airlines anymore these days. So, yeah, we're going to go fly, but. I had the cowl open here and was going through some stuff and I thought, you know what, this would be a perfect time to do another review on another modification that I've done to my plane and see if it's a good fit for you all. So, let me get right to it and show you what I'm talking about. And that is this oil filter adapter. Now, uh, the typical O200 on these planes did not come with an oil filter. What most of them have was, let's see if I can get my light on here, is right back there, see if I can get this to where I can point it out, is right there at the back of uh, the engine, there's a little line that's running into the back of this nut. And uh, that's the oil temperature sender. And when you take that nut off the back there, that had the oil screen in it. So, what a pain when you needed to check that screen is most of the time that nut with for the oil uh, temp line. Uh, would strip out trying to get that thing loosened and it'd strip out and then you'd have to use like a pipe wrench or something to open the thing up and get it out and the safety wire back in there and then pull the screen out and try to catch the oil. Uh, they said every 20-25 hours with an oil screen you need to be changing your oil and checking your screen. So that was just kind of a pain to do. And well, you know, one year I was like, I'm tired of messing with this thing. And an oil filter does a much better job of keeping contaminants out of the engine. And you can run about 50 hours on your oil under normal clean operating conditions. That varies a little bit. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to upgrade. I'm going to do the upgrade. I'm going to go to an oil filter. So I went and I purchased by Tempest this oil filter adapter and what it, it goes in here a little three bolt uh, setting for where an oil cooler could be um, this adapter plugs in here and then it allows you to use a spin on oil filter I think if I remember right that cost me about the adapter was about three hundred dollars but I'll show you right here the adapter to buy if you've got a Cessna 150 with an O200 engine. Well, here I am on our favorite website for buying airplane parts, at least one of them, Aircraft Spruce. And you could go to Home Engine Parts Oil Filters Filter Adapters or just type in Tempest Oil Filter Adapter and it'll bring you to this page. And it'll be the first model that's listed here, the TAFL for Cessna 120, 140, 150, Luscombe's Taylor Crafts Cubs. Basically, it's anything using a Continental Series engine. Looks like the current price right now for it is $399. Now, this does include the paperwork for the STC. It also includes... Um, the gasket and the things that you need there and it has one filter with it so um, Tempest filters are included with the adapters so yeah $399 you get the STC the adapter the filter and the gaskets um, not really much else to say about that it's gone up about $100 since I bought it the last time but very straightforward installation and purchase. So yeah, so when you get it, you get the 
stuff with, for the STC. You'll have to fill out a 337 form, but it was really easy. I think this took me a whole hour to put together. Uh, benefits to this, of course, like I said, I don't have to do oil changes for about 50 hours, so I get about double the time out of my uh, oil. Um, do have to replace an oil filter. Now, up until recently, that's not been an issue. Oil filters at the time, they ran about, I don't know, I think I was getting them initially when I did this a few years ago for like $15, $18. Uh, right now, oil filters are going for $30 to $35 on average, and you can't even get them. So that's the biggest drawback right now is with the shortage of oil filters, you can't get them. However, there's some other options out there. Um, what's approved typically is uh, either this Tempest AA48108-2 or the 4808-48-1 Champion uh, filter will fit it. So you could use both of those. But there's also a third option you can do, and it's put out by Challenger Aviation. And I'm gonna show you the link to what it is right here, but it's a, uh, a reusable, washable oil filter that instead of putting on the spin on one, you could put it right on here, and then you bought it once, you're good to go. That's gonna add you about another $300. Okay, so here I am back at Aircraft Spruce website. And if you just come down to oil filters, you'll see all the different brands out here. And here's this one metallic looking one in the middle, Challenger. And so, yep, I think it's this first one that is here. So FA PMA Lifetime Oil Filter System. $345. So, yeah, I believe it is. Well, let's see here. Yeah, I believe you'd want be wanting the second one right here. Um, the CH48108-1. That has the uh, 3 quarter 16 thread with the relief valve. three hundred and forty five dollars so yeah it is a medical grade type 304 stainless steel micronic filter cloth and it has a rare earth magnet installed in it for pre-filtering of the oil I think that's kind of a neat thing as well um, they do have some replacement elements you can get and then the quad seal gasket if you need to replace it. Has the safety wire attachments just the same as uh, everything else does. And see if they show this here. It has these fins on it. So it has this radiational like cooling fins, which also adds uh, kind of a cooling f feature to your oil. So that's kind of neat too. So yeah, it's expensive, $345, but. I just checked out online here what filters are running, and uh, they're 35 to 42, 43 bucks now. So this probably would pay for itself in short order if oil filters remain at the price that they currently are. So you gotta weigh it a little bit. I think this is way better than the stock screen. It filters better, takes way more contaminants out, a whole lot easier to use. It increases your oil capacity a little bit, and I think in the summer it helps keep your oil a little bit cooler. They even make uh, little fin adapters to go around your oil filter to help cool your oil down. Um, way easier to safety wire. So yeah, pretty simple little upgrade to do here. Um, shouldn't take you more than a couple hours at best. Like I said, I think I had the whole thing done in an hour. I spent more time on the paperwork than anything. Okay, I want to pause right here and add one more very important thing to this process. Part of the requirement of the STC is you have to remove your oil screen when you install this adapter. And that's fine by me. You just need to take it out, desolder it, get it all cleaned up, and you can put it back in uh, permanently, not having to take it out again. 
but I want to stress that's important because on two other 150s, this is what I have found. Now, if you look here, the screen was never removed. Well, the owner had no idea it was still in there. It wasn't done per the STC. So he's been doing filters. And notice he started having weird oil pressure problems and leaks. Pulled the screen out. It was so full of junk. Like, so packed into there. It was unbelievable how much debris was caught in that oil screen over about 1,600 hours. So very important you remove that. But uh, yeah, one of the nicer upgrades that I've done, even with the cost of oil filters, you know, just not having to do an oil change is often been a good thing. It's still saving me some money, even with the extra cost of the oil filter. But I was able to secure some oil filters recently at a very good price, so I got enough for a while. Uh, well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.